Yo, hey guys, and welcome to another Card Snow P video. In this one, we're gonna discuss how you can use the Blue Stacks and play on your PC and stream that off to like YouTube, Twitch, and Facebook, and other streaming platforms using the program called Streamlabs. Streamlabs is basically a way to broadcast whatever you want. Um, that's the program I use to personally stream on Twitch. So you're basically just gonna head on to that website. I'm gonna leave a link in the description on how to download it, uh, where to download it. And I'm also gonna leave a link in the description on how to install BlueStacks if you're new to using this program. Um, there's also gonna be a card for you guys you can click on in order to find this guide. Yeah, once you have it installed guys, download and install it. It's gonna look something like this. Probably not gonna have anything in the middle. Well, I'm using it to record, so that's why you can see me and stuff. But what you want to do is you want to make a new scene, press the new scene, call it whatever you want, Mobile Legends maybe. And then you want to make some new sources. Based on whether or not you want to have a webcam on, you're going to have to add a video capture device, that's your webcam. And then you want to either use a display capture or window capture. Display capture captures your whole screen. So if you're going to show videos or your desktop or stuff like that on stream, you want a display capture. That's what I personally use. If you want to focus only on the game, you want to use a window capture, okay? Once you use a window capture, you're basically just going to add it, and then you're going to choose blue stacks. And then once you have blue stacks open, you can basically just drag and drop if you want the full screen, and there you are. So that's how you use window capture. And other things you want to include when you stream is, over on the side here, you can include something called an alert box. It's very important you include this, because it's going to give you an alert every time people are like following you, or subscribing to you, giving you bits, anything like that. It's already set up. Just add the source, make sure it's on the full screen, and that's basically set up straight away too. Um, now for the general settings from uh, Streamlabs, it kind of depends on what your internet looks like, uh, what your computer looks like. I'm gonna delete the source real quick. Um, but you wanna head off into settings. They do have an automatically uh, set up guide. Um, Configure default devices, I believe it is. It basically is going to set up the stream for you, as good as it can. Um, but yeah, I'm going to give you guys my settings, so you can try those out. See if those work for you, or tweak them around. You always have to tweak a little bit, see what works for you generally. Uh, when it comes to streaming, I use a uh, rate control CBR. I use 5000 bitrate, two keyframes, and high profile, and that's about it in here. And for stream, you just want to connect your whatever Twitch or whatever you want there. If you just want to stream to multiple platforms, you can enable this. And you're just going to log into basically whatever you're going to stream into here. And for output, we always did that one. And into videos, this one is important. I downscale my stream. I cannot stream in 1080p. So my canvas is 1920 times 1080 because that's my screen. And then I downscale it down to 12. 1280 by 2720 which is basically still HD and it's gonna give you like a really good quality on your stream especially for like other people who just upscale their phone to the stream your stream is gonna be high quality I use 60 FPS and I use by cubic sharp by cubic sharpen scaling sitting samples so guys try these settings see if it works for you in hotkeys it's not that important and advanced process priority I set it to high to make sure my computer is putting high priority on the stream, so it doesn't disconnect or anything like that. Color format, I'm using NV12, 601. It's not that important, this thing, as far as I believe. Um, automatically reconnect, I'm pretty sure that's automatically on. Game overlay, you don't need that. You don't need that much, it's actually quite simple to set up. Um, that's basically all you need to know about streaming onto Twitch, YouTube, whatever you feel like. If you have questions, guys, ask them down below. I'll answer them for sure. Try to give you guys as much insight as possible. If you want more detailed help, like, join the Discord. I'll leave a link in the Discord too, so you guys can join the Discord and we can have a conversation. You can send some screenshots. If you're having issues with it, uh, it's way easier to help you on Discord than on YouTube. Hope you guys learned something new, and I hope to see you guys live on some sort of streaming platform soon. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.